jury thinks the dynamite ought to be moved out. That's right. Sergeant, you know that evidence can be legally removed only by permission of the owner, incident to an arrest, or by authority of a search warrant. Joe, are the caps in the closet too? That's right. What about just removing those? Well, we discussed that. Your case could go out the window. It could contaminate the evidence. In a way, we're almost as bad off. Phil, what about the people living in this block? Trying to clear them out, gonna take time. You know the right radio frequency could take out this entire block. It's your case, Sergeant. Eight, 400 pounds, why? We're not out of the woods yet. Well, how's that? I checked the caps when I took them out to the truck. Some of those are missing. Yeah. And you haven't got eight cases. Well, what do you mean? Four of these are empty. It became a race against time. We had to presume that Chapman had removed a portion of the explosives with a definite target in mind. Let's face it, Joe, it's hopeless. That guy Chapman, look at this junk. Hate literature by the ton. Yeah, I know. Mind like that, how do you think along with it? I don't know, Bill, but we gotta try. How about civil rights activities? Anything planned here in the city? Where he planted it, if he planted it. Ten to one, he did. Four cases. He's got enough there to blow a pretty good hole in something. Yeah. Spotted this guy walking in this direction. Go on, Martin. Description checks out. So's his ID. My partner's bringing him up here. What's his name? Donald L. Chapman. Thing. He insisted he didn't know how the dynamite got into his apartment. You expect us to believe you got a closet full of dynamite and you didn't know it was there? Well, how would I know? I hardly ever go in the closet. Never mind the smart answers, Chapman. We can bust you right now for receiving stolen property. Then why don't you do it? Just tell us what you did with those other four cases. Now, maybe I'll change my mind. You told me I don't have to talk to you. Maybe I won't. It's quite a collection you got here, Chapman. Flags, rifles, hand grenades, machine gun, German helmet. You go for this stuff, too? Brought some things back in 45. You got a Luftwaffe dagger? I've been trying to pick up one of those. Scarcer than hen's teeth. I think maybe I do. What'll you take for it? I'll make it easy. Tell us about the dynamite. What time is it? Why? I gotta know what time it is. I lost my watch. 8.35. Is that all? What do you mean by that? We got lots of time. dynamite. The more he talked, the more convinced Bill and I became that he had planted the explosives and it was only a matter of time now where and when it would be detonated. He showed no outward sign that it had been yet. 11.57 p.m. Well, he did. He really did. He had the right idea to keep the races pure. No room for troublemaking the All right, Chapman. We've heard all that four or five times. Yeah, but you're not convinced yet. You, you ought to read some of the stuff I got here. Pamphlets, books. Some other time. Now, look, if you feel the way you say you do, you must have planted that dynamite where it'd do a lot of harm. You could bet on that. Suppose we don't believe you. Maybe you're just lying to make yourself look big. What time you got? 12.15. Well, pretty soon you'll know if I'm lying or not. Get done with the four missing cases of dynamite. Sunrise was beginning to break. Chapman continued his hate barrage. It was beginning to get on Bill's nerves and mine, too. Chapman continually wanted to know the time. It was 8.32 a.m. What, what, what'd you do that for? Because we're about to throw up. All right, come on, Chapman. Let's go downtown. Oh, it's not time yet. It is for you. Let's go. Uh, wait a minute. Do we have to go right now? Right now. What time is it? Why? I, I gotta know. Suppose you tell us why. Please. No dice. Sit down. Now, you want the time of day so bad, you tell us why. I gotta know. We'll trade. We want to know why. All right. If it's after 9 o'clock, I'll tell you. It's 5 after. I knew it. I knew it. I can tell you now. You would have spoiled everything if I told you before. Told us what? There's a school, see? 48th Street School. It ain't there now. What do you mean? It went up at nine sharp. You blew up a school? Well, sure. Wouldn't you if you was me? What? Starting today, it was gonna be integrated. As at 9 a.m., they were immediately notified of the dynamite threat. They were instructed to evacuate the school buildings and the grounds for a distance of two blocks in all directions. Ray Murray and the bomb squad were dispatched to the school to try and locate the charge. You lied. You lied to me. Come on, Chapman, once more. Where'd you plant the charge? You figure it out. I'm not telling you anything. You might as well tell us. The school's being cleared right now. You can't do any harm except to destroy an empty building. We'll see. Where is it? One thing's sure, isn't it? What's that? They won't be able to go to that school. You'll never find where I put that charge. Chapman, you're just running up a bigger bill. Now tell us where you put that dynamite. Not a chance. Friday. Yeah, Ray. You did, huh? Where? Yeah. Yeah, me too. They found the dynamite. A ventilator shaft was rigged to one of the school bells. Would have gone off at 9 a.m. Don't worry. 
There's others who feel like me. Don't make much difference what happens to me. They'll get the job done. Wait and see. There'll be other times. Now, you listen to me, you wide mouth punk. We've heard just about all we want from you. I know my rights. I know the law, too. You'll want to know a lot more. A motive, for one thing. Eight will do for a start. And try to put that walnut-sized brain of yours to work on this. You keep harping about minorities. That's right. Well, mister, you're a psycho. And they're a minority, too. guilty on a variety of charges ranging from burglary in the first degree to attempted murder. Entered as one Harry Albert Jones. After an exhaustive search, the suspect was finally located in Nevada, where he was serving a sentence in the state. of the authority vested in me by this state, I pronounce they are husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.